Hello everyone. Welcome back. What are the new Alzheimer's drugs? What could this dementia drug mean for people with Alzheimer's disease? In our previous video, we briefly outlined the seven stages of Alzheimer's progression. With this knowledge, today we will explore the new drugs, FDA approved. Alzheimer's injections, designed to help patients in the early stages of the disease. One UK patient who participated in the drug trial of aducanumab, in 2021, seemed happy with the results. However, these new drugs do not provide a cure, so they are not miracle drugs, but rather slow the progression to stages 6 or 7. For instance, instead of taking 10 years to progress from stage 4 to stage 7, with these drug treatments, it might take 13 years. This is not the outcome we hope for, honestly. Over 30 million people worldwide are thought to have Alzheimer's. In the UK, about 500,000 people are affected, and around 100,000 of those eligible for the new drug. At an early stage of the disease, for a aducanumab, will be mostly in their 60s or 70s. There are currently more than 125 drugs in clinical trials for treating Alzheimer's disease, but only two of them, donanemab and aducanumab, have been approved by US regulators as of today. Aducanumab, the first new treatment for Alzheimer's disease in 20 years, was approved by the FDA in the US in June 2021. This drug targets the underlying cause of Alzheimer's rather than its symptoms. The FDA noted substantial evidence that aducanumab produces amyloid beta plaques in the brain, which is reasonably likely to predict important benefits to patients. A real-life trial case involves Mr. Aldo Serasa from Oxfordshire. He first noticed Alzheimer's problems, differentiating between left and right 10 years ago. After his diagnosis, the 68-year-old had to give up his job as a surgeon. Mr. Sarasa took a aducanumab for two years before the trial was halted, and then waited almost as long for another trial, at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery in London. He believes the drug has helped him, saying, I feel like I'm not quite as confused, although it's still there, it's not quite as bad. His family has noticed improvements too such as fewer instances of forgetting where to find things in the kitchen. The drug's preliminary estimates indicate that a aducanumab would need to be priced between $6,600 and $8,300 for each year of treatment per patient without U.S. Medicare coverage. In July 2023, another new drug, donanemab, was hailed as a turning point in the fight against Alzheimer's. Donanemab and its variant, lecanemab, are monoclonal antibodies targeting amyloid beta plaques, which are associated with Alzheimer's disease. They target these plaques at different stages of their formation in the brain. Lecanemab targets amyloid as it begins to form fibers, while donanemab binds to amyloid once these fibers have clumped together into larger plaques. These differences could potentially influence the effectiveness of each drug at different stages of Alzheimer's disease. The full trial results of donanemab, revealed in 2023, suggest that it can slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease by more than 20%. The effects are believed to be greater in people at an earlier stage of the disease. However, it is important to note that side effects did occur, with serious side effects in only 1.6% of recipients. The cost of these drugs, a briefing paper for NHS England estimates, including administration, would be between 500 million and 1 billion per year. This is not the cost per individual but a total estimate for at least 100,000 people in the UK, with a mild form of the disease, who could be suitable for the drug if approved by the UK regulator. In summary, overall, there are two main issues with these new drugs. Firstly, the new Alzheimer's treatments are not aimed at curing the disease, but rather at slowing its progression by up to 27%. Secondly, these treatments are only effective for patients in the early stages, stages 1 to 4. They do not work for those in the late stages 6 or 7. The Alzheimer's injection treatment approved in 2023 was announced to reduce amyloid protein by more than 20% suggesting a 27% slowdown in the progression rate. This does not stop the disease's progression. For example, if it typically takes 10 years to progress from stage 4 to stage 6 of Alzheimer's dementia, this could be delayed by about 3 years, resulting in severe dementia after 13 years instead of 10. 
This drug is not effective in severe Alzheimer's and is only effective in mild cases, given its high cost of about $30,000 per each year's treatment in the United States. Due to its lower than expected effectiveness and high price, it is best not to expect too much from these drugs. Instead, we should consider three alternative, effective, and powerful approaches to preventing and slowing Alzheimer's disease. 1. Lowering blood sugar level. So, don't buy donuts, cookies, cakes, pastries, candies, eat plenty of vegetables, omega-3. 2. Maintaining good sleep habits to reduce the risk of developing Alzheimer's dementia. 3. Engaging in regular cardiovascular exercises, such as running, cycling, or swimming. These three approaches are more likely, powerful and effective in slowing Alzheimer's progression, especially if the patient has other chronic conditions such as diabetes. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care, and stay safe.